Welcome ladies and gentlemen to another editor tutorial. Today we're looking at event listeners. This is a game logic the same as a trigger zone that starts up a script after a specific event. I will find the event listener in the game logics. So let's put it right here. And let's look at the properties and we can see that we can enable and disable an executing limit. Uh, this is very similar to the trigger zone. In fact, it's the same. Uh, minus one means an unlimited number of executions. Any other number will limit it to that number of starts. Here is also an option to listen for, uh, where we can choose the group of the events. Here we have the options. Uh, it can be an entity event. There's, for instance, on grow, which starts up a script when a specific plant grows. Uh, game logic events will start up when, for instance, someone comes into a certain zone. Uh, you can also set an event with interaction between two, for instance, with on damage or on destroy. Uh, so we'll want that, but we'll look at other ones too. In player action, we have, for instance, on jump or on dodge, so something will happen when the player does an action by themselves. In player interaction uh, with two entities, there's energy linking, which you can try out in Soundbox too. A player interaction with entity is the most used, really. Uh, there's, for instance, on paint, as we can see on default. We'll take the interaction between two entities. As the trigger object, we'll choose something that will be the trigger of the listener, similar to the trigger zone. In this case, it can be any entity, any player, absolutely anything. It can be an entity type, a player role, etc. Uh, we want it, though, to be any player, which is uh, right up here at the top. As the target object, we have the same options like picking the target of the interaction. And we'll set the labelled entities as targets. Under it, we see that we are now picking the label which contains the entities we want, and we'll add the label we made last time. And in the events, we can choose on damage or on destroy, and we'll choose on destroy. If we wanted more of the events, we can pick more by pressing plus here, but on destroy is enough for us, so we'll leave it at that. Now, let's have a look at the script of our event listener. Here in the events, we see a tile on kill or on destroy appeared. This has four different references. Trigger entity is the thing that triggered the interaction, so this would be the player that killed the target entity. Uh, the target entity is the killed entity. And then there's what amount of damage happened and uh, what type. So, We'll create a script that when a player kills one of the guards, uh, that is in the label, that we picked, a particle effect plays. Let's find play particle effect here. Now, let's add it. As you can see with this tile, we can also pick the colour of the effect, which we'll look at now. Here we'll pick the particle effect that we'll play and we'll pick drink potion. Then we'll pick the position on which the effect will play. And the position we'll pick by getting the get position tile uh, with a reference to the entity. Uh, and uh, we'll put it in this space in position. And as the search for entity, we won't pick anything with a dropper, but we'll pick target entity. We'll set it a scale 2, so it's a bit bigger. Uh, and let's make it white. So now we have a script that when any player defeats anything with the correct label, in our case the guards, the drink potion particle effect will play on that position, on the scale 2, and in white. So, that was an easy enough script using the event listener, and uh, that's it for today. Uh, so in the next episode, we'll add one last little script. And until then, stay classy, Islanders.